We don't have to do that anything. OK, so everything will be taken care by this OData model. So now this is the URL parameter. Now let's say you want to pass the filter. You can just write. Filters colon. Now filters can be passed in this array. Now where is the filter? OK, so this is the filters and which is of type array an array of filters to be included in the request URL. So it is the array. So now first of all, if I want to create a filter, let me reduce the space first of all. On the read. OK. So filter it is of type SAP dot dot model dot filter. Now you just need to search for uh, duplicate. Go to API reference and search for filters. So where is the filter? Sorry, remove that as. It's coming from. It's coming from SAP dot UI dot model dot filter. So where is that SAP dot UI dot model dot filter? So this is the filter. OK, so now this filter. So if I want to create a filter, I have to declare a filter like this. So let's say I want to filter a data based on ID property or based on anything. So I don't know whether uh, on which property they have the filter operation is working as of now that I'm that I don't know first of all. So if I want to see that now, so I'm just going to try with this ID property as this ID is a key property. So first of all, duplicate this and let's read a data from. From this entity set. So for ID we have zero one. I think we'll try with zero record. So we'll we'll pr provide a filter which and in that filter we will do the filter based on the ID and in that we will provide the value as zero. So let's go back and now let's create a new filter here. So I'm just going to write var o filter equal to new SAP dot UI dot model dot filter. Now within this filter, first of all, we need to provide the property. Same like that. We already have this information here. OK, first we have to provide a path, then operator and then value one. You can directly copy this all the three things. Go back and paste here. OK, so what is the path we have to filter? So the path is ID. So just copy this ID, go back and paste that. Now what is the operator? So operator is equal to operator I want to use. So that operative operator details you can check in filter operators. And now I have to use equal to operator. So you can directly copy this entirely and you can paste here. And then what what is left value? So as ID takes or ID considers integer value, not a string because the type of that ID property is integer, right? So it will take or it will consider the integer value. So I'm directly providing zero. So I'm going to filter the data based on ID zero. So I should be able to see only single record here. So this O filter I will provide within this filter. That's it. Now let's reload the app and now let's see. Now we should receive only single record now in this case. OK, so we have a breakpoint. OK, so now let's go here. So we have the O filter created. So in S operator is equal to path is ID and value one is zero. So let's put a breakpoint in success. OK, so now can you see now we receive the response. So how many records we have within the results? Only single record we have. OK, guys, you got it right. So this is how you can filter the data. So for filtering the data, we have to initialize the filter constructor and that filter the, the instance you just need to provide within this array object. So you have to declare a array this the square brackets and within this you need to provide this O filter. And if I go to network, you will see in this payload a filter will be created. See, 
automatically this and dollar filter equal to id so everything will be added so have we created this url no right so automatically this url is created based on the properties that you provide here like filters url parameters and everything any questions in this guys so i'm going to create yes. sorters now sorter is also similar to that so you can search for sorter and this is the constructor for the sorter so you can directly write new sap dot sorter now within this sorter now if you see it is the sorter you can provide the path and you can mention whether okay i think you don't need to you don't need object here you can directly provide the path so i want to sort based on id let's consider id after that give comma i don't know whether sorter is working or not but let me use based on sort id and after that what is the second property for the sorter descending whether you need that descending or not so that generally for that parameter you need to provide boolean value second so i'm just going to provide it as a true that's it so that's it i'm just using it and i'm going to remove the filter as of now i'm just going to comment this filter for a second okay so now at least our data it should be sorted out based on as a descending because descending is true so now the data should be filtered out descending okay now, once we receive the response, now let's see the response, how we are getting. Response results. So first record, we should see the higher one. OK, looks like they didn't add any descending. OK, looks like uh, I think guys, uh, this is not they have not implemented maybe. That's why. Otherwise, we would have seen the records in descending order here. So in network call, if you see. Can you see uh, where is our? OK, OK. Sorry, we didn't provide a property here, right? Where is the sorter property like filters? We have written filters, but where is the sorter here? We, we need to write that, right? We need to provide that property sorters. Sorters colon in array just paste that. Uh, o sorters. Now reload and check. Okay. Now let's see the response. Okay, can you see now guys? The records are now automatically now the records are sorted descending based on id so the first record that we are able to see is eight seven six five four three two one okay so this is how you can do this sort